Welcome back to our PCI DSS implementation guide video series. In the previous lectures, we navigated through the intricate landscapes of PCI DSS, delving into the essence of scoping and understanding the cardholder data environment, CDE. Today, we step into the realm of Requirement 1, where the power of visualization takes center stage. In the vast cyberspace, where complexities abound, network diagrams and data flows emerge as our guiding lights. These visual blueprints unravel the intricacies of modern network infrastructures. If you missed our exploration of CDE scoping, you can catch up on that here. Let's start from the ground up, as defined in PCI DSS v4. According to the PCI DSS glossary, a data flow diagram illustrates how data moves through an application, system, or network. On the other hand, a network diagram showcases system components and connections within a networked environment. The anatomy of network diagrams. Network diagrams are not mere illustrations, they are graphical depictions of the architecture, components, and connections within a network. Their significance lies in simplifying intricate technical details into an accessible format. Key aspects include Purposeful simplification, network diagrams distill complex configurations into elements easy to understand, aiding both technical and non-technical stakeholders. Elements, nodes represent devices, links indicate connections, subnets group devices logically, and icons, labels convey additional information. Types, logical network diagrams focus on conceptual aspects, while physical network diagrams provide tangible representations. Crafting clarity in approaches and methods. Creating these visualizations is an art and science. Professionals employ various approaches. Top-down design approach starts with a comprehensive overview and adds details incrementally. Effective in conveying the system's architecture. Bottom-up construction begins with granular details, building upward to form a complete picture. Ideal for focusing on specific components or data flows. Iterative design process refines and improves diagrams through successive cycles. Ensures the final visualization is both accurate and user-friendly. Mind mapping techniques organizes thoughts and ideas before detailed design. A precursor to formal diagrams. Unified modeling language, UML provides standardized modeling for clear communication. Enhances consistency among designers, developers, and stakeholders. Tools of the trade, bringing concepts to life. Practicality meets theory as we explore tools like Cisco Packet Tracer, Microsoft Visio, and Draw.io. These tools not only enhance communication but also contribute to risk mitigation, training, and documentation. Join us in the next lecture as we dive deeper into the specific requirements and intricacies of PCI DSS compliance. Until then, happy visualizing!